afternoon and thank you for joining us for SBB Live. I'm your host, Amanda Barton, and I am here today with Mary Pat, one of Keystone Place at Four Mile Cove's beautiful residence. And Mary Pat, I would love for you to tell me some of your fondest memories. Some of my fondest memories date back to uh, when I was raising my three children and we had a home down at the Lake of the Ozarks and the hours that we spent swimming and fishing and having a good time together. For many, for many years we did this and we entertained many guests during those years and uh, our place at the Lake of the Ozarks was our country club and we loved it. We had, we sailed on, we had a sailboat and my husband and I sailed. The kids didn't like it because, because it wasn't fast enough. But they, <laughs> But they liked the ski boat, so they did a lot of skiing, uh, but not sailing. But my husband and I also, because of our sailboat at the Lake of the Ozarks, we did some sailing in Florida. Uh, we leased about three years in a row with some friends, and we uh, it all ties together, all the water, and that's why we moved to Florida, because of the water. Oh, wonderful. So is this the same Ozark that the show was based on? Have you seen the show, The Ozark? No, I'm not sure uh, if they're the same. Uh, it's a big lake in southern Missouri. Yes. And, and it's a, a man-made lake. It's probably dates back to the First World War that they put it, that they flooded all the territory and made a lake out of it. It looks beautiful. Uh, it's I do know the lake. I, I grew up on a, a little man-made lake. It's not actually like that little. It's the biggest man-made lake in Georgia, Clark's Hill Lake, if you're familiar with that. No, so, I'm really not. No. Yeah, I grew up water skiing as well. Have some really great memories out there with my dad, fishing and, and water skiing. So did you ever learn to water ski really well? Oh, yeah, I could water ski. Okay. Um, I get to water ski. My husband was the official uh, puller, so to speak, but he could water ski. I also, we also snow skied. Okay. Not as well. We lived in Kansas City, Missouri, so we were close to Colorado. Okay. So we, we would go to Colorado and ski, but I never was good at snow skiing. I've got two left feet. <laughs> I went one time and I had an excellent journey on the bunny slopes. I never made it down the big mountain and I'm okay with that because I've seen people have to get picked up by the, uh, the rescue squad on their uh, snowmobiles when they tried to go down the big one. <laughs> well, I never went down the big, big one, but I went down a medium big one and that was enough for me. I was like you, I like the bunny slopes. Yes. I had an excellent time there. I felt very safe. <laughs> me too. Me too. So tell me, what was your profession when you were um, not retired? I was a pediatric physical therapist. Wow. Excellent. I, I worked at a school district for over 20 years with handicapped children from birth to 21 years of age. Oh, my goodness. Well, Thank you. That's a very rewarding work, I'm sure. Well, I enjoyed it. I love the kids. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you, what would you say is one of your favorite memories so far since you've been um, residing at Keystone? Oh, my goodness. My favorite memory since I've been here? Well, I think probably the best part of living here has been the people, both the employees and all the people I eat dinner with every night, uh, they bring memories. They're, they're memories, and they're good, and I enjoy them. And my family is very pleased that I'm happy. So oh, I'm sure. yeah. it all goes to me. That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for sharing your stories with us today. And I really look forward to meeting you in person when this, uh, this is lifted. So... <laughs> I, I'm looking forward to seeing you also in person. Yes. So thank, thank you very much. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. We appreciate it.